Hi there everyone, my name is Raj, I'm a fellow Arsenal fan and doctor of physical therapy with sports medicine and performance clinics in good old Los Angeles, California. Today's video, I'll be going over Jordan Nobbs' ACL tear, which he tore when she was joining for a challenge against Everton. Uh, first things first, what is the ACL? It's a ligament in your knee, it's the major stabilizing ligament. A ligament is like a rubber band that connects two bones and the ACL is involved in stabilization during pretty much every movement of the knee. An ACL commonly gets torn in two key ways, when it's overstressed in two ways. The first aspect is when it's there's too much of what we call a rotational force. So the knee will over rotate and get torn. Or secondly, when that knee gets hit backwards into hyperextension and is torn. So for Jordan, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Uh, she, I know she went in for a tackle and it got torn, but now she's headed into surgery. And ACL reconstruction, what they'll do is first clean out any parts of the ACL that are still left. And then they'll drill a hole into the upper bone of your thigh bone and the femur. And then drill a hole through your shin bone, which is the tibia. Then they'll take a graft. Most commonly it's from hamstrings or quadriceps and they'll thread that through those two holes in order to replace that torn ligament and then they'll suture it up and then close it down so you know arsenal women have had a slew of acl injuries recently danielle carter kim little and now jordan knobs and there are some inherent factors that make acl risks higher for females in general Females sustain higher rates of ACL tears across all sports. In football, it's about a 3.5 times higher risk of ACL tears. And there's a few reasons, some of them proven and some of them kind of just purported. The first is quadriceps dominance. Quadriceps dominance, excuse me. So the quads are those muscles on the front of your leg. And in females, those muscles tend to fire first, whereas in males, the hamstrings tend to fire first. So when the, when the quads fire first instead of the hamstrings, it puts more stress onto that ACL. The secondly is what's called increased knee valgus. That's when your knee dips inwards. As you can see in this picture here with the girl jumping and landing, this tends to happen a lot more in females for a variety of reasons. But that inward force is one of the most common reasons that valgus force is one of the, the main reasons for a higher ACL tear rate and females. The third lead is a little more controversial. There is some, it's inconclusive, but some evidence that hormones may play a part in changing the strength and flexibility of general the muscles and ligaments. And there's also even some interesting research gone into using oral contraceptives to try and reduce these effects. Again, that's all inconclusive. Fourth one risk factor for females is called the Q angle. The Q angle is the angle between your hips and the middle of your kneecap. In females, it's higher because females have wider hips, mainly because they have to give birth, so they need that wider canal. And it's kind of it's been hypothesized that this wider Q angle puts more stress on the ACL. But there's no real evidence to substantiate that. And the last risk factor, the fifth, is that females have a decreased width of what's known as the intercondylar notch in their femur. That's that notch between your thigh bone and your tibia. In females, it tends to have less width, which means it's a smaller ACL, and thus uh, less resistance to high, high stress. But again, that evidence is not conclusive. Now, going on to Jordan Knobs' return to play, some of her future risks, the average return to play for footballers is about 10 months. Now, she has eight months until the World Cup. So, there's always that concern for me, at least, is, is a player going to try to rush back? Now, there are accelerated rehab protocols, and the average time here is about eight months, but they are associated with a higher risk of re-injury and some of them have been shown to increase side-to-side -side deficits for 22 months. 
Now, generally for her, in, in her return to play, the outcomes are excellent overall. About 83% of players who suffer an ACL, return, ACL tear return at a level comparable to the pre-injury levels. That being said, there's also numerous risks after an ACL tear, just because it's such a major, a major ligament. And as one of my professors used to say, it's never the same model. There's a 25% chance of tearing that same ACL and having a previous ACL tear is in fact the highest risk factor for future tear. Uh, there's a 20% chance of actually tearing the other ACL. That's because when you have an ACL tear, the other side tends to compensate. This is known as a kinetic chain. Think of it like, uh, like a chain link fence. If one link is damaged, the other links all have to take on more stress and eventually over time can get worn down and break. Thirdly, there's side to side asymmetry for up to two years. And side to side asymmetry is one of the key indicators for increased injury risk. Fourthly, there's a higher chance of what's known as osteoarthritis. That's because the cartilage in your knee, which is a soft tissue that helps absorb force, can have a higher rate of degeneration. And then further, there's also long lasting differences in your quadricep strength. And the last thing that we know about ACL tears is that the last thing oftentimes to come back is the confidence in movement. So this fear of movement or re-injury is known as kinesiophobia, and that's often the last thing that comes back, and it's often only after coming back and actually playing in games you can overcome that. So and for Jordan Knobs, it's certainly an uphill battle. One of the key things is to always staying positive. And even if she can't make the World Cup, you know, which always sucks, but the long-term outcomes for ACL tears are definitely very, very good. And there's so many of them these days that the protocol and rehabs are excellent.